Good morning, everyone. Well, nope, it's afternoon. It's 10 after 12. Uh, you know, it's been a bit since I got a video out. Hopefully, I find this one interesting enough. But anyway, uh, been a bit of an adventure lately. Getting those bales home. There's another one over here that uh, we've already got in there. We're already feeding hay this year. Got these, you can see the little heifer over there. Butch is behind the bale. He likes to stand inside and eat. I don't know. So it makes him feel more civilized. I don't know, but anyway, uh, a week ago Friday, today's Sunday, we hauled these home and uh, four bales of this. Had to make two trips with our trailer. We got them, and that was an adventure. Flat tires, tire coming apart. Okay, also got new springs for my seat. Yeah, that seat belt's not gonna do me any good, but my seat looks like that. Time for a new one. Well, I don't have the money right now, so we're gonna improvise. is a plate that it took off the trailer house tongue I'm gonna set that on there kind of like so and then we're gonna take redneck engineering's most handy tool and wire that in place so that's what we're gonna do good videography number one farm hand there uh, learning his redneck engineering cut this one off the long one off there yeah now twist them up so we were gonna zip tie that on but I can't find my zip ties I put them up so I don't lose them y'all get the gist of that we're gonna get this done here all right we got it on there it shouldn't come off put the old seat back down there we go we're good to go we're in business i'll probably help my back a little bit instead of sitting cockeyed all righty uh We hooked the buzz shog to the back of the tractor and uh, I did some mowing. Maybe you can see it back over there. But uh, there's some of the corn stuff you can see there by their house that we got last. Well, actually, I got these a week ago. Tomorrow, Monday. And you see them over there big old bale behind the house but uh brought them in and uh i don't think they like to eat them too much which i don't think there's i don't know like i need to look but i don't think there's a lot of nutritional value in uh, corn stalks but it was well done there she's been working them over so she's She's looking for something to eat in there. At least she's not finding anything that excites her. She's not ate it much, but 
I figured worst comes to worst they would make compost you know put some fertilizer in the ground I haven't showed the pigs I said this one coming towards us anybody that might be new that's well done that's Ethan sow and the, the uh, number one farm hand it's his sow and that's uh, Deuce or Berkshire boar and he's only got one thing on his mind I think one of these girls over here is in heat or he wants it to be anyway because he stands here you can see it now but he stands there at the corner of the fence just staring over here that's uh Deuce Pigolo sitting back there he knows his name and then the one with the black spot on here that's Ruby and this is baby right here and I believe that's freckles over there laying down and uh, she's the last of our original pigs freckles is and Deuce and Ruby came was it two months after them but anyway if you didn't know that they think I'm gonna feed them but I had the tractor running I think it got it too hot and it died on me I was headed back to the park it and it quit right here we broke the exhaust on it the exhaust pipe it's just that one pipe there no big deal it's been rusty for a while I'll stick it back up here keep some of the water out of it in case it rains but we're still fine-tuning this quick connect here and we just I don't know I think I figured it out but I'm not sure but it didn't drop off or try to jump off but I think I know what my problem is I think I need to drop this wheel back here back down so that it keeps it tilted towards the front and that'll keep that down in that hook where it belongs and I need to get some bushings for these pins right here so that they fit in there a little snugly or er, snugglier -er. is that a word I don't know but anyway that's what I'm thinking and then but it worked pretty good today I mowed quite a bit like I said earlier you can see it over there and I got hungry and about out of fuel and tractors running hot so decided to stop and only made it this far but uh and that's the pigs I haven't shown the pigs on the video in a while uh, old buddy there thinks he's the man around here but he stands there in that corner and I don't know there's kind of I don't know if you can see his slobbers down there. But. And there's a better picture of the bell corn stalks. I got two of them. The other one you can't see it, but it's up there in the barn there. And they like laying in it. Because that's where Freckles and Baby was. And there, that is Opal. She's out here to see what I'm doing, I guess. Check this feed trailer. See how close we are on feed. I don't know if I've ever mentioned before. I like this thing. It's got this window. Oh yeah, we got lots of feed in there. I don't know if you can see some of it, but we're still pretty good on our feed. That'll make it until next Saturday morning. That's the next chance I have to get feed. Without taking off work to do it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna pay for this mowing. I just just since I'm not here jacking my jaws front of my mouth. We'll walk over here and I'll show you what I got mowed. Just over yeah, just over an hour. And 
I think I'm doing pretty good for that little five foot shot. I'll show you the, what they've done with them corn stalks and stuff there. We're going to have to get around and rework some pins here. But you can see there's some of it. an idea what I got done but anyway that's what's been going on today I'm gonna have to go to work here for a couple of hours this evening so Opal's out there checking it out I did jump up a rabbit out there back over way over there I'm glad to see that. I like seeing rabbits. I like eating rabbits too. Yeah. You know, it's not too bad. I'm going to have to invest in some hay equipment though. Because it's just so... It's, it's hard to find hay. And a lot of times when you do find it, They want three prices for it. Hay around here right now. And I'm sure it's going to go up. I've seen it priced anywhere from 60 to 100 and... Well, I've seen $150 a bale on hay. Now some of the higher, you know, pure alfalfa or whatever, you know, really good hay. So... Yeah, I don't know, I can't, I wouldn't be able to make much money off the hay, but, you know, I just, I just bought those four bales at $60 a bale, and that was 160 bucks, and I'm thinking I'm going to have to buy at least two more bales, but that was all the money I had right then, so... Anyway, uh, it's been kind of a productive weekend. I got a little bit done. The weather's been beautiful. It's great weather for November. But uh, we had a little cold snap last weekend. And first part of the week, we got pretty cool. Anyway, oh, I talked in the video earlier. I might show you the trailer tire. I'll walk over here and do that. Uh, from my escapades hauling hay and corn stalks. And I was afraid Monday I was going to run in another one, but it didn't go flat on me. So I got, got lucky on that. So. Yeah, that's what's been going on around here, not a whole lot. Uh, it'd be better if I paid attention to my video, wouldn't it? Uh, anyhow. This old beat up trailer, we're going to start doing some maintenance on it. But, oh, you can't see it very well from here. See if I can get. Let me see what you all can. Yeah, you can't see it through the briars. But looks like we got a couple hundred pounds of rock driving with that tire flat. I don't recommend that. That's what I did because it's what I had to do. It got a flat there. Well, I think you can see it right there a little bit. We just shredded that tire. About all that's left is a, a little bit of sidewall and, uh, and the bead seat. After the bead. Just 
be seat is on the wheel. Anyhow, uh, hopefully there will be some uh, new stuff coming here. I made a purchase. I probably shouldn't have made the purchase when I did, but I did, so. I got to deal with the consequences that something kind of needed but really wanted for quite a while and I decided to do it because, you know, uh, <laughs> anyway, so I'll give you maybe a little peek here, I said it's something I wanted for a long time. It's a tool. So, you see it in there? Can you read it? Yeah, there you go. Uh, Miss Opal. That's the slowest that dog ever moves, is right there. It's either standing still or going 100 miles an hour. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope it's more interesting than usual, but maybe not. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Let's interact. Uh, comments are always welcome, but let's look out for each other. Let's help each other when we can. Let's not forget to pray.